Planning for your workforce future is not as hard as you need it to be. If you've watched a couple of these other videos on this website, you will have seen a, an organization chart that looks something like this. And if I bring that up to the camera, you'll get a rough idea of what I'm talking about. Now, this example here is actually quite a bad example because there's got a lot of red boxes there. And these red boxes are all indicating uh, cost overhead. The blue boxes down here are the good things. The blue boxes are the ones that you want. Now that's a typical organization chart. But what I want to cover off on this little video today is about workforce planning. So the model I've got here behind me is about how we map out your workforce for your business in the months and years going ahead to make sure that you do have the staff coming on board and available when you actually need them. And you can do this really quite roughly on the back of a piece of paper. So what we're looking for is where are you now? So that's where you develop the organization chart for where you are currently now. And you look at that organization chart with all of the roles and functions. Don't go into too much detail about it. Then you look at where do you want to be and map this out, let's say in two years time. So in two years time, where do you want to be? What sort of organization would you like to have? What sort of functions would you, new employees or new roles would you like to have inside your company? What we need to do then is map out the incumbents. So who currently are the current incumbents that you've got working in the company? And the next one is when you look at towards your internal succession, who do you have mapped out or anointed to take over some of these new roles or some of the existing functions to create new roles? Because what you don't want to be doing is what we call backfilling. Backfilling is where you as the owner or the manager have to go back down and fill that position because you just don't have the staff to do that. We don't want that because it's expensive and it's, it's very demotivating for everybody. So you're far better off planning in advance if you can. So who are you going to be anointing for internal succession? And if you're not going to be anointing for them internal succession, why are they there? You want to be having staff inside your company that are all A players or at least A potential so that these people are currently maybe a B player, but they can step up with perhaps a little bit of training or with the opportunity so they can gain some experience. What we need to think about now is also who have you got standing by in case of an emergency? So we might have down here someone in sales. And the current person might be a person called John. The future person that we've got targeted for that role could be a person called Paul. And now we have some other target people. We've got targets number one, two, and also an emergency category. We might turn around and say, right, well, we want John. John is the current person. The future person is going to be Paul. Then we might have George, who is sitting in the wings waiting on our virtual bench that he might be suitable to come on board. And down here we might have Ringo, who might be the second person that we've got. Not ready yet, but really a strong candidate and one that we want to keep on board just in case. So we're mapping out for our sales department in case something goes wrong. And then down here we might have someone, uh, Mary. So Mary could be the emergency person that if something went wrong today, we could go out and recruit Mary and she could come in and fill that role that John's currently doing. We might have a role for a leading hand. And we would have people in the current role, we'd have someone identified who could step up to there in the future and be the ideal candidate to replace that person in the current role that's doing the current leading hand. We might have the, the next person identified and the emergency person. If, if, the, if something hits the fan and something goes wrong, the person gets hit by a bus, then we've got somebody that could step up and to do that role straight away. We also might have our production. And we'll have some people identified for production in the current role. We've got somebody identified for the future and our standby people that are going to be ready and waiting um, if we decide to not to get uh, this new other person here in the future, we've got two other people waiting that could be groomed for that role. And then we also have somebody else that could set up, and that could be possibly internally, and they could step up and be promoted. Uh, and we've, we've, we just map out down here all of the other positions inside your company, 
and all of the people you've currently got filled into those roles. So this is a great little tool for workforce planning. It's different to the organization chart. It's a tool that I've used with clients. If you have any questions, send me an email, uh, send me your workforce planning chart if you would like me to have a look at it and provide some input. I wish you a lot of success with this tool.